Hey guys, so today I just wanted to show you this 2D procedural animation project I've been working on. I've been working on this for like two or three days. It's not finished yet, but I just wanted to show you how I made this. But first, what is procedural animation? Well, if you're watching this video, then you probably know what it is. But for those of you who aren't watching this video, Procedural animation is basically just an animation, except it's not pre-recorded. It is created during runtime, so it can be adapted and stuff based on the environment around it. So what I did was at the start, I just modeled this dick person in Photoshop. So then in Unity, I rigged him and added inverse kinematics, which is something that's helpful for animating and also is helpful for making procedural animations. Basically what it does is it puts the legs in a certain position so that the foot can be in a spot that you'd want it to be. So with this, I made an animation for walking with the arms and then I needed a script to place the feet where they needed to be so that my character could walk. So what I do is I raycast down slightly in front of the character and then if that raycast point on the ground is far enough away from where the foot is, then it'll take a step to the raycast point. And so this is the result. Right now it just looks like hopping. but what I need to do now is make it like switch which foot needs to step. So what I was going to do is I would have it have one second or something in between each step and then each step time it'll just calculate which foot is farther away. But then I realized that doing that would probably make it look like this. And I don't really want it to be like that. So instead, I got a new idea by analyzing the way that I walk. And so my idea was when both feet are too far away from the target, the farthest one will step. And so I implemented this and I was surprised when it actually worked. This is the result. Okay, so I added a camera to follow around the player, and I also made the player be able to turn around by just rotating the hips by 180 degrees in the y-axis, and it actually works, which was kind of surprising, because I didn't expect it to work. I also added another character, so that could be multiplayer maybe. I also added the ability to ragdoll, so your character can ragdoll whenever you press the jump button. And it'll also ragdoll if you're falling. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, then check out some of my other projects I work on on my channel. And also consider subscribing because it really helps me out and it takes like a few seconds to do. So thanks and bye.